there's something unfolding here in Greenville and Ola Mountain County that might have been what Dickens was talking about when he said the best of times, the worst of times, because we are having a, an economic boom in some sectors. There are new houses being built here that, uh, that makes it into a bedroom community for some larger areas around. And we have had some national franchises move in here and build significant buildings here. At the same time, there's this loss of jobs in West Central Michigan that, that goes far beyond Electrolux. And it seems to me like there's a growing chasm between the haves and the have-nots. So please join me. Oh, garage, door. I'm very happy to finally have some of my cars in one location. Through. So please join me. This is the addition of the house. That we're just Gordon Stauffer lives down the road from Sandy's farm. His lakeside home is a showcase for the high-end appliances his company manufactures. Refrigerator freezer in stainless steel inside and out. Stauffer is founding CEO of Northland, one of Greenville's last working factories. His company is riding a wave of new consumption by the wealthy. We certainly anticipated that there would be growth in the super high-end portion of the home appliance industry. There are probably more million dollar homes built last year than any time in our history. And there is a lot of disposable income going to second homes, high end second homes. And when they build these high end second homes, they expect an ice maker. Very, very good ice. They expect a wine cooler. They expect all of these high end appliances. Pet food, ice for the pet's water. The hot tub is right through those doors. Trends in the appliance industry reflect growing inequality in America. CEO salaries are now more than 250 times the average worker's pay. The number of products produced per workers has actually gone up. However, workers have not shared in the benefits of that greater productivity. It has gone to those at the top of the pay scale within the companies. And where you stand on the economic ladder is a good predictor of health. The higher the grade, the better the health. The lower the grade, the higher the mortality rate, and the shorter the life expectancy. In this remarkably graded phenomenon, so if you were second from the top, you had worse health than you, if you were at the top. If you were third from the top, you had worse health than if you were second from the top, all the way from top to bottom. I have been very blessed, and I've had exceptional health. I do like to work out. In fact, I'm waiting for this construction to be completed so that I can put my basketball court back in operation because I still play basketball. Stauffer and other wealthy Americans have more options, resources, and power to control their lives, all contributing to better health. I told George W. that I had a photograph of myself with his mother. He said, that's the one to keep. Keep that photograph. There is a perception that the CEO gets all of the stress. Actually, if you're a good CEO, maybe you give the stress rather than get the stress. Autonomy, control, empowerment turns out to be a crucial influence on health and disease. People who are disempowered, people who don't have autonomy, people who have little control over their lives, are at increased risk of heart disease, increased risk of mental illness. In the Whitehall studies, increased risk of absence from work and increased risk of decrements in functioning. 